I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Hello, I'm Darth Paradigm. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about this saber. Uh, this is the uh, Obsidian by Bendu Armory. It's about uh, eleven and seven eighth inches long. This uh, particular version is the uh, Triaxial, and it's a limited edition uh, version. From what I understand, uh, there's only twenty of these in existence. Um, it's made of carbon fiber, and uh, it consists basically of a shell. This whole thing is just one lightweight carbon fiber shell, and uh, it's is for the most part hollow, exception being when you get to this end, and um, there's kind of a chassis that inserts in here. And it's equipped with a CFX soundboard. Um, I went with Baselet, uh, so this is not a NeoPixel saber. It, uh, it's just a full color changing RGB Baselet saber with flash on clash. It has all the CFS, CFX effects um, smooth swing, uh, blast block, uh, flash on clash, lock up, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it doesn't, however, have blade effects. CFX sort of eschews uh, blade effects uh, when you're uh, dealing with an inhaled um, LED setup. Uh, I don't even think it has flicker, but it does color changing, and um, so that's that's pretty cool. And the reason why I uh, bought this one and uh, equipped it as such is uh, because I intend this to eventually be uh, sort of a dueling saber if uh, if I ever get a chance to duel with any of you fine people. And um, specifically, uh, <laughs> my friend uh, from Forged by Light. Someday I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on over and kick your ass, <laughs> or or get my ass kicked more more likely. Um, so as I said, this chassis is removable. But before I show you all that, uh, I just want to you know demonstrate the saber. I'm not going to go through all the features. I'm not going to go through all the fonts and all the fonts that I've installed. Currently, um, I, I consider this sort of my dark side um, Duke uh, uh, saber. So I have K-Sith's uh, Duke installed on here. And uh, I've become more powerful than any Jedi. And it really seems to fit. You have the main switch, you have the auxiliary switch for all the fun stuff. And that's basically that. So, you'll notice it's very loud, and um, there's a, a lot of room, uh, I mean, all the way from here to there, uh, for resonance to happen. Uh, too much resonance, and it sort of muddies the... Uh, it muddies the sound a bit. Uh, it's a very, it's an extremely loud saber. So what I did was I went in there and I actually reduced the volume. It was set to maximum, it was set to 100, which I'm assuming is maximum. And uh, I reset it to, uh, to 80 and that uh, kind of cleaned it up uh, quite a bit. Um, about the, the finish, uh, there, there's a few, I, I guess I call them complaints 
or <laughs> not so much complaints, but uh, observations regarding the uh, carbon fiber process. I, I noticed that there was sort of um, an unfinished kind of um, aspect to this thing, one of, one of which is the, uh, the vents here. You can see the the flash from the from the molding pro process. Well, maybe you can't, maybe you can't. I don't know. I had to go in there and clean that up a bit because there was a lot of extra flash in there, and it was starting to really kind of bother me. Um, the other thing is there's a, a bit of a seam running down the middle, which is a little bit. Eh, I've gotten used to it. it; doesn't really bother me too much anymore. But um, it's 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 kind of an unsightly thing. It makes it look a little bit. A little bit on the cheap side, but I guess there's no way around it, really. Oh, hello, Inky. Are you okay? You having a little kitty cat meltdown? Yeah, he's having a little kitty cat meltdown. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking. Actually, let's turn this on. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. You don't want to hear what he's doing. <laughs> um, the other thing that uh, sort of... Um, I noticed was around these little edges here. I've been doing a bit of cleanup because there's there's been uh, I don't know there's been some residue kind of along all these little edges. And uh, are you done? You feel better? He is not feeling better. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the sound on, and I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've gone in there and I've just cleaned it up the best I could. Uh, it still needs a little bit of work done, but, um, all right, I think you're done. I hope. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, once, uh, once I've, you know, gotten a lot of this cleaned up, uh, it's really kind of made the, the finish look a, a lot better than it originally did. Um, one of the weird things, uh, on the settings, uh, they have the, uh, the deep sleep set to really fast. I mean, it's, it's literally like 10 seconds after you turn off the saber. Um, you, I can actually... I've become more powerful than any Jedi. <laughs> you can see just it, it, it'll it turn off like so quickly. So what that means is you can't really op, you can't play the tracks or anything like that for any extended period because the saber will just turn off when the when the tracks are on. Uh, well, when the saber's not on, uh, immediately starts counting down to deep sleep even if the tracks are playing, so it'll just put it to sleep and the track will turn off. Anyway, let me show you how this thing comes apart. So essentially what you can do uh, with Bendo Armory is you can swap out these cores. Uh, you can swap out the, the core with a new shell. So you can buy uh, alternate shells. They run about $150 on um, Bendo Armory's website. And uh, you can just kind of insert this into a, a new um a new uh shell if you so desire and uh and and really customize this thing so there's two different sizes of um screws here this screw is essentially the main um the main uh blade retention screw but in order to take out the um the sh the uh, chassis you have to remove the blade retention screw, and you have to remove the carpet tech wheel. And they use two different sizes of screws. But There's definitely a way to go about doing this. I always remove the carpet tech first, and then the carpet tech when I'm putting everything back together is the last thing I put on there. One. I think it's this one. Yeah. There. So this came with a 32 inch blade. There we go. And the blade depth is. Well, that's how you take the chassis on. There you go. The blade depth is about. I'd say about two and a half inches. And the blade itself is an undiffused, very, very thick wall dueling blade. But I find that the light does uh, tend to illuminate fairly well in this blade, even though it's not diffused. Um, you can see all the 
muck and grime that's built up on the end of the blade because of the nature of the chassis. Um, this is all metal here, whereas this is all kind of, um, you know, like a resin or plastic. So the weight is all towards the front. And uh, so what you'll hear a lot of people mention is that when you get this all together, it's a very front heavy um, affair. But I find that with the blade inserted, I, I tend to use this, um, and I don't know what form it is, but it, kind of like a Dooku style saber. So I have the blade pointing down naturally a lot with a lot of downward strikes. I mean, I find the balancing is not really an issue for me, even though it's, you know, weighted to the front. I find it, uh, it works out pretty well. And this has actually turned out to be like one of my, one of my favorite sabers. I, I really enjoy this thing, the uniqueness of it and just the, I don't know, there's just something about this thing that's, that's very appealing. Uh, one of the things that I don't like is the fact that you do have to take everything apart to gain access to... I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Yeah. To this uh, whole setup here so that you can recharge the battery because there is no recharge port. Um, the battery, of course, you just pop it out, recharge it, put it back in. Uh, it does have a 28 millimeter speaker. Very, very bassy. There's the uh, CFX board, and there's a port, and you also have a uh, micro SD card right in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, it's right in here. It's a little bit difficult to remove because it's very, very flush with the uh, the chassis itself, but not completely flush. the The actual point where it gets inserted is a little bit higher than the surface, so it's it's kind of a tricky thing um this like i said is just one solid hunk of metal so this is where all of the weight of the saber is focused right here and uh you can see the um the the, the um full rgb triacree action going on in there and it's uh very very bright now as far as the shell the shell is completely hollow and it's it's light as a feather and um yeah 150 dollars <laughs> what are you gonna do anyway so let's put this all back together i'll show you how i uh, put it back together we'll wrap this video up with a, uh, a bit of a demo nothing too fantastic just a very very short demo okay so what I like to do to put this thing back together is you have to line up the chassis with the holes in the shell. So I focus mostly on the hole where the blade retention screw is going to be inserted. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll use a tool and I'll kind of shift it a little bit to get the holes to line up perfectly. Then... I will get my blade retention screw and I'll insert it in there and get started and put my finger here when I feel it then I'll stop and that way I have pretty much optimal alignment and then uh, this is a very tight fit which is good and get that in all the way and uh, just uh, the blade that came with this is, is uh, very straight so there isn't too much bow to it. Usually with a with the bow, I try to have the bow kind of line up with the uh, whatever the switch section is and kind of ride up a little bit so that I don't notice it as much. So my OCD doesn't kick in and I start getting a you know getting the shakes or whatever. <laughs> so I'll tighten that up and. There is a, an alternate screw if you choose not to have a cover deck wheel on here because you really want to have both of them on there because, it, it I mean, this holds the whole thing together. And if you only have one, uh, who knows what could happen. Something might break and you don't, need, you don't need to break this thing. Although not quite as expensive as uh, some custom sabers, these, these aren't um, all that inexpensive for what you get. <laughs> 
but I bought mine on sale, and um, I, f I find that was a, a, a pretty good deal. And I'm, like I said, I'm perfectly happy with uh, with this uh, saber, even with uh, you know the, the the minor little quibbles that I've I've mentioned um, with the the finish on this thing. Um, it's a uh, very, very, very comfortable in the hand. None of this, uh, none of this finishing. It's all smoothed off, and um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, just something about this thing. It's it's really oddly weighted, but it it's it's very conducive to handling, and you know you've got plenty of room to hold this two handed. I've been holding this thing kind of two handed because I've been having problems with my elbow, like right here. Yeah, so uh, one handed has been a bit of a chore. Uh, so, like I said, um, this is a 32-inch blade. This came with the Sabre Standard, and uh, it's weighted balance points right about, right about there, thereabouts. So, it's not optimal, but you can see that's, why is this always so tricky? Yeah, rather front-heavy. But um, yeah, that pretty much sums up everything. And uh, obviously, the CFX board works as most CFX boards do. Uh, so I'm not really going to get into that. Which is to say, I'm not going to get into that at all because that's a completely that's a that's another video in in of itself. So anyway, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the uh, the review. Um, I give this thing I give this thing high praise. It's it's really really a unique piece. Um, it's an it's a very interesting system. I find this saber eminently enjoyable. I pick it up. I have no qualms about what happens to it. And it's hard to explain, but it just it has a sense of durability and, and, uh, and a carefree uh, <laughs> carefree sort of um, attitude that just kind of inherently comes with this thing. So um, yeah. Bendu Armory. I, I highly recommend it. They have other models. Um, so, you know, go check out their website, see what they have. They have different finishes. They have just a, a wide array of uh, a different carbon fiber finishes. And, um, yeah, it's quite a delight. So, I will leave it at that. I've rambled on quite a bit. So, hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the weekend. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video. May the force be with you, and um, I'm just going to swing this thing around for a bit and let you uh, let you check it out. Take care now.